I like it. It's not too light. No, it really suits you. Thanks. What's the house like? It's good. Feels a bit big for just one person, but uh, I like it. Good. And the new job? Also going well, thanks. Remind me again what it is. Uh, helping new businesses with their websites? Like digital management? Yes, but uh, only the websites. Oh, right. I'm glad it's going well. Hopefully we can find time to grab a drink now that we're talking again. I'd like that. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm hearing things. What sort of things? It's probably nothing. It's an old house. Is this working? I think it's working. Uh, I'll just pretend it's working. <laughs> this is day one in the new house. And uh, we have so many boxes here. I'm not sure when we'll uh, unpack them all. But we'll just go one step at a time. I'm nervous. This is a new city for us, but I'm excited at the new opportunity and the possibilities of it. I think Delilah will like it here. I'll try to do these videos as uh, regularly as I can, but knowing me, I'll probably forget. I hope this uh, reaches both of you okay. I know um, Mom was keen for me to do these. Okay, Dad. I'll check in later. It's a bit weird that someone would just leave that there. I probably shouldn't have touched it. What's on it? Video diaries. Of who? The old residents, I think. They seem nice. Are you going to watch them all? No. Aren't you tempted to? No. <laughs> we are on week two now. George is settling into his new job, although he's you know, still mess with his head sometimes. Delilah is enjoying her new school. She's always been so good at making new friends. And um, George asked me to make some of these as well as himself. He struggles to remember things sometimes. But he is doing better now that we are in a new environment. I hope you're both doing okay and that Jane's treatment is going well. Bye for now. They say no one could have prevented it. She must have been sick for a while before the physical symptoms showed. 
she's in the best place she can be. They're doing everything they can to treat her, but they fear that the disease is just too far along. She needs a transplant. And neither Wendy or me are matches, and we're her parents. She was made from both of us, yet we can't help her. We can't give her the one thing she needs to be better. And the waiting lists are years long. I find myself wishing that Mom was here. I suppose it's only been two weeks since she since she died. And part of me acts as if she's here with us. Wendy isn't speaking or eating, and she spends all of her time at the hospital. I'm losing them all, Dad. Sending in love to you. Ten forty PM. That that time will always haunt me now. This, this date will always haunt me. They said she she wouldn't have been in any pain. That it would have been just like falling asleep. Except she isn't asleep. Something is going on with George. He, he can't cope with the loss and he has locked himself away. I'm not sure what to do with myself now. I'm just, I'm just glad she got to spend her very last few days at home. She will always be part of this house now. Sometimes, sometimes I think I can hear her laugh. She, she had the best laugh. Please, please. I think something happened to my friend. I just got a video, and on it, she's tied up and afraid. You shouldn't have called us, Andy. What? This isn't your house. Who is this? It didn't take us long to find the people you care about. Consider this a warning. Who are you? Let her go! Please! You shouldn't have watched the videos. This isn't your house. George thinks that there's something wrong with this house. I thought his paranoia had gone away when we moved, but after the Lila, I suppose it must have triggered something. I don't want it to get bad for him again, but... He just won't let me in. He, he doesn't remember that Delilah is dead. I don't have the strength to remind him. But, but watching him every day, I believe that she's still alive is killing me. I feel trapped. 
I don't know what he's going to do next. I don't know what's, what's going to happen to us. I hear them more at night. They're, um, they're trapped in the walls. <sighs> Delilah's gone for a week with a friend. Uh, I think Wendy is cheating on me. She's, um, become distant. I hear her crying when I'm not there. She's crying because she knows what she's done is wrong. Something wants us to be here. They say we will never leave this house. I still haven't heard from Ellie. This is the first video I'm making, but I'm starting to think that it's important that I document my time here. And I hope that this will stop me from going mad if I pretend that I have someone to talk to. Someone is pranking me, telling me this isn't my house. Maybe they're not. Maybe I am going mad. I want to find out what happened to the people that lived here before me. There she is again. I keep thinking that I hear a little girl. There's only one little girl that I know had anything to do with this house. Anyway, I have to start getting ready for work. I'll check back in when I have some updates. What did they look like? I don't remember. They just let you go? I was in that chair. They recorded me. And next thing I know, I was at home. I feel like it was my fault. Did you hire some people to kidnap me? No. Then it wasn't your fault. I don't feel safe here. Why not? I think I'm here doing things. The same thing happened to the couple in the videos. Is there nowhere else you can stay? I don't know where I'd go. Well, don't go disappearing on me. I won't. This is day four for me being locked in here. George says that if he lets me out, then the house will kill me. I, I hear him talk to Delilah. What's terrifying is that sometimes I hear her talk back. This, this house holds voices. I, I haven't eaten since yesterday morning. I, I'm scared for my life. We never should have moved here. This house changes you. I just, I just hope these videos are found by the right people. Or by someone so that, that no one will ever live here again. I, I don't know what's going to happen to me now. She thinks, I don't know what she's done. I'm not keeping her there for her protection, but for mine. I don't trust her. And neither does Delilah. 
it was her decision that we move here. We didn't need to, but she was so adamant that we did. She claims it was for my health. My health is fine. If things carry on like this, I have no choice. I have to protect Delilah. I haven't left the house in six days. I've probably lost my job. The phone rings. I can't bring myself to answer. I hear her all the time, laughing, taunting me. I'm so alone here. There's something inside telling me not to leave. This house makes you want to stay as much as it tells you to leave. Ellie thinks I've gone mad. Maybe Ellie isn't real. Ellie isn't real. What? You're right, Andy. Was it nice believing that you had a friend? No, 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 no. You shouldn't be here, Andy. You should be here. This is where you belong, Andy. What is happening to me? The same thing that happened to all of us. What? I lived here first. Before Delilah. Before any of them. We are the voices of the house. You imagined I was in danger because you have a need to save people. You wanted to save me like you weren't able to save your girlfriend before she left you for another man. Don't say that. What did she look like, Andy? No. What did she look like? You. She looked like you. Now you'll be here with us. Forever. I had to do it. I know Delilah isn't here anymore. I remember everything now. She isn't here physically. But her soul stays here. And her voice stays here in these walls. Wendy was too dangerous the way she was carrying on. And now she is with our daughter once again. We were destined to be here. The move was always supposed to happen. I understand that now. And we will be together again. This house holds voices. And this house holds souls. And now, it is time for me to join them. Goodbye, Dad.